Hello everybody, I'm Rod Stream, and I'm here with another episode of A Dance Fire and Ice. We're going to be playing some more customs, as usual, and let's just get started on it. Yeah, I think this is like the first Blank Guy chart that I ever played, but like the first time I played it, dude, it was so low quality that like... <laughs> let me tell you, it was uh, not exactly the most pleasant viewing experience when, you, when I played this for the first time on the channel, because I did not have the best video quality around at the time, but... Now we are here. Let me tell ya. Shard does have some nice, uh... Patterns, because of the time signature, which, you know... Makes things a bit more interesting, you know? how weird that rhythm is. Also, because I think that's a little bit of on B rotation, I think. Oh, I got a E perfect in the midst of that? Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. I think that was pretty nice, though. Um, I, I can appreciate the visuals a lot more now because uh, last time, I think, like, I had such a low quality, like, PC at the time that, like, I could just, I could barely tell the visuals. But now, looking back on this and going back, I'm glad I speed trial this one again because, man, looking at these visuals once again, it's. It's definitely really nice. You can tell that Black Eye really did have a nice flair for visual detail, even back in their really old customs, such as this one. And I'm glad that, uh, you know, they're still making levels to this day, and hopefully their next one is going to be even greater. Starts uh, pretty clear for the norm, really. I don't think there's really any tricks in this, but there are uh, nice, pensy, uh, varied rhythms for the palette, you know? Actually, a bit more faster than I remembered it, actually, huh? That's fine, though. Actually, a little bit more trickier than I remember, just because I don't remember the song being that fast, actually. But <laughs> like, it definitely did throw me in for a bit of a loop. But it's still, this is still a pretty solid chart. This is as solid as it can get with the uh, old charts today. All right, so we have World of Colors composed by Mickey Perry Titty. Or I, mean, I probably mispronounced that, whatever. And it's charted by Clicks. 
So let's uh, get started. A bit of a, more of a casual experience, which I like. Okay, that was a little weird. Alright. My take move was so slow that I couldn't react to that, but if that was a little bit more faster, it might have been a very day daisy position there. I will say they've been using that pattern quite a bit. <laughs> okay, there's a bit of a nice casual experience, I guess. Nice, nice little break from the speed trials, I presume, but I think we'll uh, be getting on to something a little bit more energetic now. Sailing Force, composed by a name that I cannot pronounce, and charted by Pigment T4. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're already starting off pretty strong with this one. Those triangles are really weird. Okay. some uh, interesting BPM switches right there. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that was a nice chart though, I really like it. Like the song itself does present some really weird rhythms, but I think they are quite satisfying to play, and I imagine that uh, once I get used to those weird rhythms, it must be uh, quite satisfying to get get some perfects on this one. But <laughs> this one was uh, quite a bit tricky for me personally, though, just because of the the patterns are not what I'm used to seeing, especially those uh, diagonal triangles. You rarely see those in charts, and generally, I think I only see them in really peculiar songs. So 
I, I, I maybe should come across them more often, but unfortunately I don't think there's a lot of songs with patterns like that, so unfortunately I don't think I'll ever get used to them. <laughs> Alright, Lab Confidential, composed by TDX69, charted by Jewel. Apparently this was made for like the Halloween competition, if I recall correctly. Actually no, it was made for some other competitions, I think. I'm kind of forgetting it already, but that's fine. It's all good. Check out how we're going to double duty in there. <laughs> Shoot, I should have played that on strict. God damn it, I'm sorry everyone. I don't think I played the last two charts on strict, but um, to be fair, I don't think those charts would have had a strict option. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn on strict on this. Hopefully uh, that doesn't bother you too much. I generally always try to play these charts on strict, but unfortunately I kind of missed out on this one since this one is a file download only, so, you know, sometimes you just play the chart and you just sometimes forget it because, you, you know, there's not like a huge disclaimer at the bottom right to tell you to switch to strict. Um, I'm pretty sure I probably would have had the same results on strict anyway, but, you know, it's the, the principle that counts anyway. But, hey, uh, this was certainly an interesting chart. Definitely uh, a lot of things going for it, I will say. And I do like some tile animations at times. It was pretty cool, I think. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, move on to the next one, right? All right, so we got Cloud Buster, composed by Skybreak, and charted by Tycoon. So, let's get started on this one. I've been warned that this one is a decently long song, so I think we're going to be here for the long haul, so let's get started. <laughs> the intro beat. Probably uh, gonna expect some things to come on later now. Actually, does this chart have checkpoints? I have a feeling that this chart doesn't have any, so you know what? Let's actually uh, be focused here. Actually, surprisingly chill. Oh, never mind. There's check ones. All right. Yo.
little tricks behind these uh, Chipsilas. Like a little things there that I gotta be cautious of actually. Hey, okay, that constant checkpoint does like you know reassure me because you know. <laughs> At least I'm not messing up too bad. Also, damn, got too early. there? Maybe. I feel like there's one more thing coming though. Ooh. I think we're still going. Oh what? Oh never mind, okay. <laughs> okay. I thought I thought like we were going for one more drop. It was kinda like building up again, so I was like, ooh. <laughs> anyway, that chart was uh pretty pretty cool actually. I think I like I mean, of course, there were some uh, questionable parts at some sections, and maybe the camera could be a little bit better, just in terms of sight readability. I mean, when you're climbing up, you know, you wanna you want the camera to move up a little bit more up, so that way you have more time to react to stuff upcoming. But I mean, for what it's trying to do, I think it's I think it's pretty solid. I think I I think I enjoyed myself when playing this. All right. We got some tutorials to get through, so let's get through these real quick. Off beat to loop, MP-1. Oh, that is gonna be a little awkward to play, actually. Cause it's, it's on like an even weirder off beat. Like, when you're in like double BPM, you're actually going like vertically. It means like, you're on like the diagonal when you're in half BPM, which is really weird to play on. MP-2, water slide. Okay. Oh, hold up, okay, hold up. Let me, let me, let me analyze this real quick. I guess I just tap a bunch of times and then at the end I uh, have a 270 degree turn. So let's see how this goes now. That is going to be really tricky to see because I'm going to have to react very quickly to when it stops becoming those uh, red twirl slides, huh? And we're just getting started on this. Okay, well luckily this one isn't too fast, but anyway, we have MP-X, Memory of Paradise, composed by 6094 and charted by Aimisugai. So let's get started. I have a feeling that uh, this one might not be exactly a uh, one attempter. <laughs> let's get started. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're, we're already starting off pretty energetic with the camera already, and these patterns are a little bit weird, but okay. Man, what the hell? Why am I struggling so much at this beginning right now? Okay, hold up. Let me focus.
Damn it. Okay, dude, we were doing so good on that first attempt right there. Ooh, I like this chart, though. I do like how it's, uh, has, like, those unique rhythms, and it's kind of, like, making you really remember them through the tutorials, and I do like how they're really emphasized. All right, where do I start? <laughs> There you go. Whew. Okay. I'm actually surprised I only used one checkpoint throughout that whole thing, because that's actually that this chart was actually a bit tricky, actually. Just because of the, the camera and all that stuff. It's it's really designed to, you know, try to throw you off a little bit. And uh, you definitely need to keep track of where you are, otherwise you might get messed up. But that was pretty fun actually. I had a good time with this one. It's definitely a lot more trickier than the usual charts that I play, but I think I can uh, appreciate what it's trying to do. Especially, I like the ending part, though, when it really emphasizes on the first tutorial's rhythm, where it's like one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Like, ooh, it's a weird rhythm to play because it's on a weird offbeat, but it is really satisfying once you really get it off. All right, let's get started on this one. We got some tutorials on this one, too, so let's get started. Radio Routine, SW-1. Pay attention to color on that one. So that's fair enough. Okay. SW 2, a dance of red and blue. Okay, still keep it in normal, alright. Okay, alright. Keeping a bit of a groove on this one. SW 3, frequency compression. fast enough for those triangles, but it is going to be really tricky if they're condensed like that. Alright, so we have Save This World, composed by Excel and charted by Omni. So, let's get started on this one. I heard that this one's a bit of a challenge, so let's see how this goes. So far, though, I'm really liking the visual look of this chart so far. So far, we're uh, taking a little bit of a break, huh? I wonder when that uh, triangle section's gonna come back in, though. Because uh, I'm sure it's probably gonna be a bit of a struggle. Uh, 
not done uh, yet. Yeah, double BPM section did definitely live up to it. Oh my god. Those triangles are really brutal. Whew. Let me tell you. Because uh, they're very condensed and it's double BPM and you have to tap really quickly. But it's not like they're simple triangles. It's not like, you know, straight line and triangle. It's like you're still on the offbeat when you're playing on those triangles, which makes them a bit more trickier to play than the others. I liked it though. But uh, I think we have uh, one more thing to do, right? All right, so uh, finally got like a, an expert on one of these, so I intentionally left this one for last because I mean, I know how difficult this is going to be, and honestly, to try and go for a no checkpoint clear on this might be a little nerve wracking, so let's do it. <laughs> All right. Holy crap. Okay. Haha. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Holy crap. 
That was not as difficult as I remembered it, actually. It was a lot more easier than I remembered. The only section that I really struggled on was the freaking quadruple BPM, BPM lane section, but honestly, besides that, everything else was pretty, pretty, pretty well, actually. <laughs> I think... Is my off server... I'm, I might need to check my, uh... My calibration, because I, I think I'm getting a little too many earlies that I'm comfortable with. I think I might be... I might need to mess with calibration a little bit later on, just because I think the earlies there are a little bit weird. <laughs> too many earlies, like 61, like goddamn. Although it might be from the double BPM lanes, because I might have been overcompensating, I could tell at times. But uh, yeah, that's that's an extreme clear right there. Oh my god, I'm surprised I managed to get that down. Although maybe this chart just isn't as difficult as I remember it, because that was this when I played this chart, this was when I was relatively inexperienced at the game. I think it was like at like episode 30 or 40. I mean, we're at, like, episode, like, 159, so, like, I have, like, five times the amount of experience at that point. So, um, yeah, this only took me, like, a couple of times. I honestly thought it was going to take a lot more longer, because let me tell you, some of those uh, sections are ri not rhythmically easy to do as well. They're pretty complex when you consider most double BPM charts. So, yeah, uh, I guess we'll be moving on to the tier list, so let's get started on that. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's the tier list, but this time I'm not using the same Google Docs that I've been using for a while. Alright, now it's time to use the spreadsheet. I should have done this like 50 episodes ago, but I just didn't. Because at the time, I didn't have access to the sheet. I just didn't bother asking about it. And like, I was also just like lazy at the same time too. So, admittedly, I don't have exactly much of an excuse for this to not happen sooner but hey the fact that it's happening now is really what matters because you know at least we got it out of the way <laughs> but anyway i think that this will be nice because i already show you the difficulties that i've already ranked for all the charts and it looks a lot more easier to see as well rather than like the whole mess of text that i had in like i, I wouldn't blame you if no one watched the portions of those videos because let me tell you I, I don't think they're very watchable but i think that this should make things a little bit more easier i might add a little bit of music here too just to make things a little bit more spicier and we'll get started on the first chart that i played so world of colors i just put this as 4x because like the whole chart is like really slow and like the same pattern over and over so i think 4x is a proper difficulty ranking for it so let's move on to sailing force now uh, oh shoot i didn't even put in the full name here hold up let me let me fix that real quick so pink moon t4 i believe and this is a advanced chart i was maybe considering putting it in hard but i don't know i felt like maybe if it was a little faster it would actually be hard i still think it's on like the hard end of the advanced charts but there is a lot of strange rhythms here and like I kind of see it as something similar to like Mountain of Training, where there's a lot of unique rhythms here, but if you kind of get used to them, you should be able to get through it. I think if it was a little bit faster, though, I think things would be a bit more scarier. Lab Confidential, composed by TDX69. I put this as hard, just because of that one double BPM section. Otherwise, I think that this is probably advanced, just because, you know, all the visual stuff going on here. There's a couple of visual distractions going on in this chart, so... I feel like that kind of makes it mostly advanced. But then that double BPM section kind of like seals it for me and it's hard. Um, I wouldn't call it insane though, just because I think I would make it insane difficulty if like there was, if that double BPM section was like constantly fast throughout the whole thing. But you do have like constant like snail breaks between those sections. So you can relax a bit. So Cloudbuster Skybreak. Now this chart is really long, but I still consider it advanced because like, I will say that the patterns aren't as condensed as I, you'd normally think, and also some sections are pretty undercharted as well. So, like, you, you get a lot of breaks here. This is a really long chart. Like, I think there's, like, 800 tiles in, like, a four-minute long song. So you're definitely in here for the long haul, but it is really, you know, it is it is a pretty nice song, though. I will admit, I really like the song that this chart uses. But the reason why it's advanced is just because it's, like pretty undercharted at times and i'd say that the hard sections with like the triangles and tricilos and stuff um they are not too common and like usually get like breaks in between them so i don't know i just i think there is a bit of stanima here but i don't think like this is like enough to like break your stanima entirely so that's why it's put in the advanced for right now so memory of paradise now i chose insane for this one 
because it is mostly in double BPM with like really weird rhythms. Um, I don't think it's hard enough to be an expert. I think the only reason why I died like a couple of times in the beginning and at the end was just because of me just uh, not really getting too used to the rhythms very quickly. You know, sometimes you need a little bit of a warm up into double BPM before you can really get into the real groove of it. And uh, yeah, this one is kind of tricky though because there there is a lot of tap in there, especially with like the I forgot what pattern it's called. It's like the slide something basically like a bunch of red twirls and you head into a loop that's a pretty condensed rhythm right there and you have to tap quite a bit for it but i don't think it's nearly fast enough to really warrant an expert so that's why i'm fine with placing it insane for now and then save this world now this one is also an insane just because of those triangles those triangles really make things a lot more tougher i think um potentially this could have been like a hard difficulty if those triangles weren't there because they are there though it makes things a lot more trickier because those triangles can really appear just about anywhere um there's one tip i can give you regarding the triangles is that there's always a red tile before the triangles so you have a bit of time to react to them appearing but even then you still have to have a pretty decent reaction time just because the song speed itself you know is still quite a bit fast so you gotta be reading ahead at the same time while doing those fast patterns to you know make sure you're not getting lost so i think that this does deserve the insane ranking and yeah i think that's really it for all the charts hopefully you've enjoyed them as much as i have and hopefully you enjoy this revamped tier list section now um hopefully this is a bit more viewable for you now and like I'm going to be updating this a lot more, like, trust me, all right, this this is this is going to be really refined later on, and I'm really excited to do things with it. Um, Yuta's still busy, but I think once we get together, we're going to be able to, like, revamp this whole thing, add some missing filters and all that good stuff. It's all going to come eventually, all right?